I'm Artifacts of Mars. And this is History.com, America's first UFO sighting. Now, we weren't technically a country back then, but it turns out the Puritans saw some things that uh, don't really have a decent explanation, shall we say, which is nothing new. They didn't have UFO debunkers back then either. During the 1600s, Puritans in New England spotted more than just witches flying through the skies. Hundreds of years before Area 51 and Project Blue Book, Massachusetts Bay Colony founder John Wyth Winthrop detailed incident instances of unidentified flying objects in the heavens above 17th century Boston first recorded. UFO sightings in America. March 1, 1639, John Withrop opened his diary in which he heard the trials and triumphs of his fellow Puritans as they made a new life in a new land. In case you're not familiar, Puritans, by our standards, no one calls them a cult, but technically, by our standards today, they were very, very strict religious uh, people. That's for you millennials who have never been taught how this country was founded. Anyway, as the governor of Massachusetts Bay Colony put pen to paper, he began to recount most unusual event who, that had recently caused stir among the English immigrants. Winthrop noted the Early in the year, James Everill, a sober, discreet man, and two others had been rowing a boat in Muddy River, which flowed through swampland and emptied the tidal basin in the Charles River, where they saw a great light in the nighttime sky. When it stood still, it flamed up and was about three yards square, Governor reported. When it ran, it was contracted into the figure of a swine. That's weird. Over the course of two or three hours, Boltman saw the mysterious light ran as swift as an arrow, darting back and forth between them and the village of Charleston, a distance of approximately two miles. Diverse other credible persons saw the same light after about the same place Winthrop had added. The governor wrote that when the strange apparition finally faded away, three Puritans on the boat were stunned to find themselves one mile upstream, as if the tide light had transported them there. Yeah, could be. Men had no memory of their rowing against the tide, though it's possible they could have been carried by the wind or reverse tidal flow. The serious repositioning of boat could suggest that they were unaware of part of their existence. Some researchers will interpret that as possible alien abduction if it happened today. Writer Jacques Vallée and Chris Albert in Wonders of the Sky. Unexplained aerial objects from antiquity and modern times. I certainly heard Jacques Vallée. Some have speculated the curious globe could have been an Ignis Fatus, a fancy name for swamp gas, a pale light that can appear over marshland at nighttime due to the combustion of gas from decomposing organic matter. If Winthrop's report was correct, however, light was not rising from the swamp but shooting across the sky, making that explanation unlikely. Uh, plus the fact that the sun that burned for hours. An odd sight returned to the skies on Boston five years later, according to another entry in the Winthrop's diary dated January 18, 1644. About midnight three men came coming in a boat to Boston said saw two lights arise out of the water near the north point of Town Cove in the form of a man like a man and went at a small distance to the town and so to the south point and they there they vanished away. So those were USOs on unidentified submerged objects and they took off out of the water. I don't think we had technology to do that, then. We weren't a country, then, for crying out loud. A week later, Winthrop wrote, 
Another ex unexplained social event occurred over the Boston Harbor. Late like moon rose about the Northeast Point in Boston and met the former in Nautilus Island. And there they closed in one, then parted. Closed from parted diverse times, so they went over the hill, the island, and vanished. Typical UFO activity. Sometimes they shot out flames and sometimes sparklers. Sparkles. This was about 8 of the clock in the evening and was seen by many. About the same voice, the time of voice was heard upon the water between Boston and Dorchester, calling out a more, most dreadful manner, boy, boy, come away, come away. It suddenly shifted from one place to another at a great distance about 20 times. It was heard by diverse, godly persons. About 14 days after, the same voice was heard in the same dreadful manner was heard by others on the other side of the town towards Nottles Island. <sighs> Unlike the 1639 UFO, Winthrop had an ex explanation for the latest luminescence over his city on the hill. Governor know that the bizarre spectacle was seen near that location where history, where a vessel Captained by John Chaddock, exploded three months earlier after sailor accidentally ignited gunpowder aboard the ship. The captain was not aboard at the time, but the blast killed five crew members. Winthrop noted that the rescuers had recovered the bodies of all the victims except for a man believed responsible for the calamity, a sailor who professed his ability to communicate with the dead and was suspected of murdering his master in Virginia. The hand of the devil was thought to have taken possession of the body and was the haunting voice of Sailor's Ghost that was said to have accompanied strange vision of the old UFO that mystified Boston. So, there you have it. These things have been seen forever and a day. I mean, and I'm very sorry for Swamp Cats can uh, rise up out of the ocean. Uh, plus fact, you know, if you had that much gas and you'd sit there and burn for hours, I think you'd had a big, big bang. See, for me, I want these damn things identified. I don't want them... I want these things identified. I don't want them, uh, explained. Uh... Many people just want to explain them, and that's it. That's the way it goes, so. There's a, there's a saying science should investigate the unexplained, not explain the un uninvestigated. That works for me. Everyone, thanks to Mars, thanks for watching. Remember, UFOs are quite real. don't know what they are for absolute certain. You can't prove they're E.T., you know. Some of us are pretty certain they all they really are. The Mars facts Mars.